Wild horse advocates protesting in more than 20 states today, including at Colorado's capital. Investigator Katie Weiss has been following the wild horse debate for more than a year now. She was at the protest today. And Katie, what are the protesters asking for? Well, Michelle, advocates are pushing for Congress to reconsider the SAFE Act. It's a bill that died in committee this week that would have banned the horse slaughter pipeline. They say they're fed up with Americans' tax dollars being used to remove these horses from the wild just to see them end up being sent to Canada or Mexico for slaughter. This was one of more than two dozen protests across the U.S. Stop the slaughter. Stop the roundups. Organizer Terry Westhall says it's currently illegal to slaughter horses in the U.S., so she wants to see this loophole closed. The biggest goal today is to get the SAFE Act marked up, even if it's late. SAFE stands for Save America's Forgotten Equines, which would make it illegal to ship horses out of the country to be slaughtered and sold for meat. There is no way right now to humanely slaughter a horse. They have a long neck. They can move their head away from the bolts. This year, tens of thousands of Mustangs were rounded up and removed from the wild. Those horses then get sent to holding facilities and are then adopted out. But sometimes those adopters sell them at slaughter auctions. Advocacy group the American Wild Horse Campaign says 1,020 wild horses were sold at slaughter auctions in the U.S. in the last 22 months. It's astounding that this is continuing to happen and nothing's being done about it. Grace Kuhn with the AWC. It's egregious. Um, these are federally protected animals. They have the same federal protection as the American bald eagle. The Bureau of Land Management says wild horse roundups are necessary to protect the rangelands. But those lands are also shared by private ranchers who are allowed to graze their cattle and sheep there. Public records show the BLM will spend more than $137 million on its wild horse program this year. West Hall says taxpayer dollars shouldn't be used to subsidize ranching at the expense of Mustangs. I'm trying to make as much noise as I can. <laughs> Now, the American Veterinary Medical Association is one of the groups against the SAFE Act. A spokesperson tells me the bill failed to address how and where unwanted horses will be placed and does not provide the financial resources necessary to provide veterinary care to the thousands of horses impacted by a ban on processing horses. Now, the BLM has not yet responded to my requests for comment. Michelle? Katie, thank you.